Angela Kim from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm going to share with you something a little different. I'm going to show you how I whip up my two ingredient homemade all natural lip balm or chapstick. And if you follow me on my blog, TheSquishyMonster.com, you know that I have been slowly but surely converting all of my home-based products to all natural or completely homemade. So between my detergents or all natural soaps and candles, I can share this with you if you would like, so just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more videos like this. And if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe my channel if you aren't already. And I hope you guys are having an amazing 2015. I am, for the first time, going to admit a truth. I have never exercised a day in my life. And in 2015, I made the resolution to change that. And already I have an abundance of energy, even more than I usually do. And I just feel great overall. And I was hoping that we could kind of inspire each other or kind of encourage each other. And I know that if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you some that I already have made and I have them in rotation so I can grab them and go as I need it. And I just wanted to pop it open and show you what it looked like. So here's just an example of one. And of course you can add in optional colors or flavors, whatever you'd like. You can add in honey for flavor. You can add in crushed beetroot or hibiscus flower as colored options. And I got these tubes actually online in a wholesale bulk lot and it was cheaper that way. And depending on how many you get and what source you um, get them from, you can make them anywhere from 10 to 20 cents a pop, which is a phenomenal savings. You can of course also just reuse sanitized recycled ones. Step number one is to grate your beeswax. You can of course just use pellets. And the best way to obtain the highest quality beeswax that you can be, since you are going to be applying this to your person, you can converse with your local beekeeper or source it from a very reputable source online, whichever way works for you. And you wanna dedicate your materials to just beeswax. As you can see, it is very stubborn and sticky to get off, so it's going to cling on there very tightly. So now you just want to grate it. Step number two, you'll melt your wax in a double boiler or in 20 to 30 second bursts in the microwave. Whatever method you choose, go low and slow. And again, use dedicated materials because the wax is really difficult to get off. And as you can see, I have measured it on a digital scale to read, get an accurate reading. Next, you want to melt and stir in your coconut oil or your oil of choice. If you're adding anything else in, this is the time to add it. Now, I like to wait just for a couple seconds for everything to kind of meld in together and cool slightly so you don't melt your plastic. And you can pour it into your desired containers. If you don't have any empties, you can also use tiny condiment jars. Those are really cute too. So now all you have to do is pour and set for 30 minutes. And presto, you've got homemade chapstick or lip balm. So like I was mentioning earlier, you can add in honeys, or organic crushed colors to stain or tint your chapsticks. And really, the sky is the limit with that. Mm -hmm. 